Here, I will be discussing the acidity of carboxylic acids, why they are acidic, and how to compare relative acidities of carboxylic acids. In order for me to discuss this, I need to make mention of effects like resonance, delocalization, and inductive effect. And I've already done that before. If you want, you may go back to that to review first before going here. If you already did that or you are already very familiar with those things, then go ahead. So let's start by saying that in general chemistry, the formula for the dissociation of an acid is this, wherein an acid HA can dissociate into H plus plus A minus, wherein we call the A minus as the conjugate base. Basically, the conjugate base is the exact same thing as the acid. You just remove one H and you add a negative charge. Now, if my conjugate base is stable, meaning it wants to stay as is, then therefore, it will not anymore prefer going back to HA. If that happens, if my A is stable enough, then my A will stay like this and this H will stay like this. And the more H I have, we know that based on the definition of acids that they donate H plus ions or protons, it's more acidic. Again, what are the keywords here? Conjugate base that is stable gives us an acidic compound. And of course, in order to determine stability, we really have to rely on factors like inductive effects and delocalizations. Let's first try to assess if an alcohol can act as an acid. Actually, it can, but it's a weak acid, a very weak acid. It can act as an acid given the fact that I have an OH functional group, and the oxygen can, you know, uh, very rarely decide to get the electrons from hydrogen, and this hydrogen will go out, and by getting a bond from the OH bond, the oxygen will have an extra set of electrons. So it will now look like this, and of course, it will have a negative charge by doing so. So now, we have a structure like this, and the fact that it lost a hydrogen and it has a negative charge like this, so this is now our conjugate base. If I ask you, is there anything beside this oxygen that can stabilize its negative charge? Well, to be fair, there is. The fact that my carbon next to it is sp3 hybridized, remember, it can perform what we call hyperconjugation. However, hyperconjugation is only a weak type of delocalization, so it's not going to do much. So that's why it's not really acidic at all. It, it is, but very, very weakly. But comparing an alcohol to a carboxylic acid, it's a different story. Once again, we can imagine the oxygen here trying to get electrons from this H. This H will have to go away. And then as a product, our conjugate base will look like exactly the same thing except my oxygen has a negative charge. Now if I ask you, what delocalization will take place here? Remember, the oxygen is now beside an sp2 carbon with a double bond to, a carb to another atom, which is oxygen, and uh, that only means that I can move my electrons here, and as a response, this pi bond can move up. The fact that I now see a pi bond moving means that here we actually have resonance, right? Specifically, pi resonance, and this one can become like this, wherein the double bond is now below, and now my charge is at the oxygen above. And of course, if you already understand very well the meaning of resonance, the reality is that this structure or this structure are both incorrect because the reality is that you can imagine that my charge is distributed equally between the two oxygens. That is very stable. And the fact that this is far more, this conjugate base is far more stable than this conjugate base, then we can say that carboxylic acids are far more acidic than alcohols. I mean, in the first place, why do you even call them carboxylic acids, right? That's because they're acidic. But now let's try to change the story a little bit. How about comparing this carboxylic acid to this carboxylic acid? And then I ask, which of the two is more acidic? Let's see. Let's try to do the exact same thing we've been doing for the, the examples above, wherein the oxygen takes away the electrons here, and then this hydrogen goes away. And then we try to draw the conjugate base, which is exactly the same thing, but this time the oxygen has a negative charge. Now, look at this. We can delocalize it like that. 
so it may now look like this but look at this the fact that I have an extra double bond here means that we can even delocalize further right like we can do any uh, all sorts of stuff here like this can move here and then this can move here and then it can even delocalize into something like this um, and so on and so forth and, 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 and therefore this is interesting because here you see there are more things that can move around and in reality the more possibilities of resonance happening thanks to this uh, extra double bond then the more stable our conjugate base and therefore that only means the more stable my conjugate base the more acidic so actually between this and between this this one is more acidic so I'm trying to say here that additional double bonds or additional um, areas for delocalization can improve acidity so we can put that here improved delocalization can actually improve the acidity which is why for example I think it should be clear now. If I'm going to compare uh, cyclohexane carboxylic acid, this one, and benzoic acid, and I ask you which is more acidic, it should be very clear already. The fact that in this example, there is no delocalization, so it's not going to be as acidic. Here, there is no delocalization. But we know very well that benzene has a lot of delocalization. In fact, something like this. So there is a lot of delocalization in this structure. And therefore, we can say that, well, this is more acidic. So between the two, which is more acidic? This one. Inductive effects also influence acidity. This is not anymore going to be me discussing from scratch how inductive effects will affect it, but maybe I could just summarize it already. That electron withdrawing groups including chlorine, bromine, other halogens, other electronegative atoms, OH, SH, increase acidity, and electron donating groups like methyl groups, ethyl groups, alkyl groups in general, benzene can do, will decrease acidity. For example, how about this one? If I ask, which is more acidic? This one or this one? Well, here I don't see any uh, electron withdrawing or donating group, but here I see bromine. And since bromine is an electron withdrawing group and it increases acidity, then I could say that this one, the one with bromine, is more acidic than the one without. Very straightforward. Or how about this? Which is more acidic? This one or this one? Well, I see that the one on the right has more carbons, right? In fact, it has much, much more carbons. And what do carbon, uh, carbons or R groups do? Decrease acidity, right? So if we go back to the question, which is more, more, more acidic? Well, I did, I did say that the one on the right is less acidic. So if the question is, which is more acidic than two, it would be this. Also take note that distance matters. Let's say I have this compound and this compound. They both have the same number of carbons. They are both carboxylic acids. They both have chlorine. It's just that the distance of the chlorine from the COOH is different. Chlorine here is farther from the COOH, and chlorine here is closer to the COOH. And the idea is, the closer your group is, or functional group is, the greater its effect. So I'm going to ask you, what effect does chlorine do? Chlorine increases acidity, and therefore, the closer my chlorine is to the COOH, then the greater the acidity. So meaning, if I ask again the question, left or right, which is more acidic than this one? Let's do the same question on the pair below. Which is more acidic, this one or this one? Both of them are almost the same. It's just that the methyl groups in this example are closer to the COOH. The methyl groups here are farther. What do methyl groups do to the acidity? R groups, like methyl groups, decrease acidity. And therefore, since the methyl groups here are closer, then this one has even less acidity compared to the one on the right. So if this is less acidic, then I can say that this one is more acidic. So if you are asked which is more acidic, then it's this one. So you can see that delocalization and inductive effect both have great influence in the acidity as well as the distance of the inductive effect source. 
So combining all of that together, I'm gonna give you these practices. So try to arrange these three from one to three by decreasing acidity. You can pause or you can let me answer. I will answer now. So first, recognize that among the three examples or the three structures, only the first structure does not have a benzene ring. Remember, benzene has delocalization and delocalization increases acidity. Because this one has no delocalization, then definitely its acidity will drop a lot. Much lower than the other two. So meaning this is the least acidic. But now if I'm going to ask you, between this one and this one, which is more acidic? Well, I see a methyl group here. What does a methyl group do to the acidity? Decrease, right? So that means that between the two, this one is less acidic. This is the more acidic. So this is the highest of all. So this is number one, and this one is two. One last uh, example, or one last trio that we can arrange. How about this? Try to answer on your own. Okay, I will answer now. So for this case, you cannot use the benzene anymore because all of them have benzene. And so now you have to depend entirely on the presence of electron withdrawing or donating groups. Specifically, the fact that I see chlorines here, I know that any uh, electron withdrawing group like chlorine will increase the acidity. So I am now very sure that these two examples with chlorine are more acidic than this example which does not have chlorine. So this one is the least acidic for sure, so this is number three. But which one of these two is more acidic? Remember, distance also matters. I know that chlorine is going to increase acidity. But the one that will increase the acidity more is the one which is closer to my COOH. Since my chlorine here is closer to COOH, it's, it's arranged ortho, right? Therefore, we expect that its increase in the acidity is greater than the chlorine which is placed meta. So therefore, this is the more acidic one. In fact, this is the most acidic one. And this one just falls short, but more acidic than the last one, which does not have any chlorine. So hopefully that helps you in identifying or, 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 or comparing molecules in terms of their acidity. And next, I will be discussing the reactions of carboxylic acids and its derivatives.